Celtics. And this game underway for Peruzzi. Into the Portland end, slowing down, hands off to Minyager. He'll play it back to Schulte. And again, Christian, we're seeing that nice patient setup time by the Thunder. And a little bit, they're finding a little bit more room now in the midfield. Minyager finding his way through, looking for help. Shot! Torres playing into the far side. Cross coming back. And that from Johnny Minyonga. Great setup by Johnny Torres. Looking for the it's very important that he varies his play, fakes that shot, and makes a pass because he didn't agree with the call. But not very often that you can disagree with the referee and get them to change their mind. It doesn't happen. That's a golden opportunity for the Timbers. Alvarez, Hugo Alvarez, trying the cross pass, broken up by uh, Max Schulte. Heads Schick. it out for a corner kick. Early in the second half, two attacking sequences from the Timbers. A great cross there. It's headed away, actually, by uh, the mayor, Steve Shack, rather, who heads it out. The corner kick is taken. I'll go to that far, far post. Winter with a shot and a big save by Joe Warren. Got. Interestingly, that hang time was not enough for the Thunder defenders to close in. Tennyson turning toward the middle on the run, looking for some help. Now gets it back to Segarri's a chance right on. and It is an offside. Big save by Warren. And on that point blank ball again, the Thunder looking a little bit vulnerable, getting caught flat-footed. The Timbers attack. We'll see what Antonio has to offer. Here come the Timber again, a great Benedetti. shot from way out. A good shot actually from about three or so games at home where they played so well in the first half. Considered a goal in the second half, ended up losing the game. Yes, another opportunity for the Thunder. And Yager, a great nice pass to pass Torres. Into Torres in the corner, Torres crossing, and Moorhead, yes. hitter, misses, jump. Tough time for Air to get out of a triple team, but he does. Minyanger is set up in the corner now. Looking for the cross to Torres. Torres with a chance, big save by Josh Sol Sends it into the middle, here's a chance. And the shot up and over for Amos McGee. Antoniak will get a little give and go. We're only gonna have one extra minute here at the end of the second half. And here's a chance for Tennyson diving on it is Warren. Fred it out, buy time for your team. Playing possession. Amos McGee in a dangerous spot. Shot to goal! It did. Minyager, and look at, at the, the respect Minyager gets. Three or four uh, uh, defenders all looking at him. And uh, they, that left McGee open and a big left foot shot into the upper corner. Here's another look at it from our crane cam behind the goal. And Minyager drawing in the defense. Getting it to McGee, he's got plenty of room, and he just puts a rocket past Josh Saunders. St. Paul native turns and puts it into the upper corner. We were wrong at the beginning. It is indeed a golden goal. Amos McGee sets up and places the ball. You congratulate the scorer. You cannot blame the goalie on that one. That ball was placed at the upper right-hand corner. The keeper had absolutely no chance. He dove despairingly and could not get to the ball. No keeper would have stopped that. The ball was played squarely to Amos McGee, and he used his left foot, placed the shot, and he is a much better kicker with his right foot. This is the experience of a player who is the leading goal scorer for the Thunder, the all-time leading goal scorer, performing again. He came into the game with less than 10 minutes left. And in overtime, he has given the Thunder a critical win. A crit